Hey everybody, just want to make a quick video because I uh, searched all over the internet trying to find someone else who has come up with a solution for these guys and I uh, didn't find one so I had a little experiment tonight and uh, I didn't record it as I was going because I didn't think it was going to work but it turns out that it did. Uh, for anyone who has these old Firestorm batteries, you know that the NICADs that they came with are just absolutely terrible. They, they, they don't last long, they have memory effect and they're, uh, they're rather expensive to replace in comparison. Um, so these are the, uh, the, the NICAD batteries. Um, actually, this is a, uh, a Power Extra NIM replacement, which is a, a 3,000 milliamp hour, so it, uh, it lasts a little bit longer, but still uh, has that memory effect. It gets, gets a little worse over time. Um, but then, Home Depot has got the Ryubi sets, or Ryubi, um, that have these lithium-ion batteries, and I wanted to find out was there a way to adapt it to the old Firestorm tools, mainly because of this drill. Um, I, I have not found a set that has this quick release chuck in the handle in an 18 volt setup, um, and it, this thing has worked great. I think I got it back in '98. Um, it's it's an old one, and it's just uh, it's been working great. And I haven't been able to find a replacement, so wanted to find something that would work. Uh, came up with this um, and it was actually easier than I thought because I found this when I was at Home Depot I started flipping over all the tools they had on display and the bottom of this LED workshop light is just about the same size as one of those batteries uh, there's a little bit of an overhang on the sides and that's mainly where the, the battery clips into and there's a little bit of flex there, so you kind of have to fiddle with it a bit when you, when you hook it up. But um, ultimately, this worked. And uh, just to give you an idea, hopefully I won't kind of screw up the camera angle because uh, I'm doing this one-handed. But this is the this is the 18 volt battery that it comes with, and. show you what it weighs in at. We're at uh, about five pounds two ounces and that's with the, the larger NIM battery. So next thing is to take your Ryobi 1 battery and your adapter, clip it into place. Make sure it's snug on these little edges there. Locked in good. And then, try to get this one handed. Clips in just like any other battery. And considerably, uh, it feels considerably lighter. It's actually 4 pounds 7 ounces, so um, not quite a pound lighter, but it just, um, it, it, it feels better. Um, definitely feels better balanced. But um, for anyone who's that's one way to do it. Um, it does make it a little bit taller, um, a little bit annoying, but whenever these batteries eventually become obsolete or uh, whenever I'm in a pinch because they all keep dying, uh, I know that I can reach for one of these and get it to work. And uh, this will be especially helpful on the weed eater that they, uh, for the Firestorm series. Um, if you get one of the, the extended 4 amp hour lithium ions, um, I'm sure that that'll breathe new life into that machine. So once uh, it gets a little bit warmer, I'll try that out. But yeah, for anyone who wanted to give it a shot, the LED workshop light. And you just take an 18 volt, gut it out, uh, dribble it out at the bottom to make room for the uh, adapter to slide inside and then You'll have to cut off the bottom of the light to get that base, and then I just screwed it right in, and uh, works like a charm.